um, we thought that by us being there, we'd be able to um, help out the children, see the life that we're that they're living, and um, sort of like build that understanding of um, a life that we're not too familiar with over here. But I think. Um, as we got there, we soon realized that the real purpose of the trip was a better understanding of ourselves and um, really like finding out within ourselves um, what, we, what we've what we been sort of missing out on or uh, what we're here to learn. And I know um, many of the students, for them, this was like a rediscovery of their faith. <laughs> Going there, I didn't know what to expect. I was actually quite nervous to see. Um, as a child, my mom would show me um, one of those food network shows where they show kids in Africa and they don't have enough food. And whenever I didn't finish my food, my mom would just turn on the channel and she'd show me. And so just seeing them, it was heartbreaking. And I wasn't sure if going there, I would just be completely shattered or if I would really learn from it. And I feel like the connections that I've made with the kids and the elderly in the homes there is a connection that I will never forget. It was important for us to go because um, we'll not only be able to understand what our own purpose is, but also fulfill what other people intend to do in helping others um, and, and especially coming back from Jamaica and I, I think that we've all changed in a way that we've shifted our goals and mindsets to help those who are less fortunate. This whole experience really started out with me wanting to get our students to be immersed in a way of life that they wouldn't normally experience in Canada with the lifestyles that they have. Um, I wanted them to understand that where their parents, where their grandparents come from is are places that we need to be reaching out to. Um, and the driving factor was really um, was really my brother-in-law, Davis Alawalia, who's a constable with your Regional Police. And um, as our board knows and uh, other schools also support the mission, uh, Davis was killed in a car accident, but he was also a very strong supporter of the missionaries of the poor and outreach and working for people who had no one else to stand up for them. And I had to do something about it to honor his legacy. And so um, going down to Jamaica was was something that was very dear to my heart. Um, when we initially started off with the trip in 2010, we only had three students with us. And when we came back, our lives were forever changed and I knew that this was something that we had to bring back to our school. Yeah.